Hey, Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com. Today, taking a look at how to clear your browsing data when the Microsoft Edge is closed. Most of your browsers, you can go in and you can clear your data, as you probably well know. And, of course, every once in a while, you probably run a drive cleaner, like Wise Disk Cleaner, something along that lines, C Cleaner. But instead, what you can do, which is pretty unique with Microsoft Edge is concerned, and that's the Chromium-based Microsoft Edge, is that you can clear all this data when edge is closed improving your security and your privacy so what you need to know is you need to know what version you have so you can click here help and feedback about and you're going to need version 77 that's the first two numbers before the dot or newer now of course this is basically the canary or beta version but i guess within a few weeks to a month this will be on everybody's browser so while we're here you're actually real close to where we need to go. So let's take a quick look. You're actually gonna to go to the settings and you're gonna to go to privacy and services. And then you can choose what to clear every time you close the browser. Now, another neat way to do that is to copy and paste this code right here. Highlight that, it's in bold and click copy. Then open a new tab. Let's close one we had. And you'll see we're gonna open up right to where we just were directly. Oh, let me press enter again. I'm looking out the window. Yeah. A little uh, ADD. So here we go. I'm going to give you some suggestions. You can do whatever you want. What we're looking to do is just kind of clear out the junk that's created every time you go out there. It's going to show you everything here, how much you, ha how much you have saved. So here's your browsing history. I've only got a couple items in here, but pretty clean install. Any download history, any cookies you have, and any cached image and files. This is where most of your space and cookies and stuff like that, it's a lot of your privacy is wrapped up in here as well. So I would go for all four because there's nothing going to get wiped out from here that's going to cause you any problems that I can think of. Now, passwords, that's up to you. Do you use the password form filler? Then go ahead and leave it unchecked if you do. If you don't use the passwords, you can just check it for security reasons just to make sure autofill form data now that's where you come up here and you start typing something in and it remembers you know different things that you filled out same with um, if you use a login somewhere and it starts to type in what your login for you that's exactly what the autofill form data is so passwords etc that's up to you some people like to keep that history to speed things along if you have no interest in it beautiful check it site permissions that's kind of up to you i would typically leave them alone so if you go to a site and you override any permissions you don't want to have to go through and do that over and over again i'd almost always leave that alone again we're looking to protect your privacy a little bit and that's not going to do much for you that i can think of i'm sure there's a, some sort of odd case but for the most part no hosted ape app ape hosted ape data app data depends how much you have in here like i just have the microsoft store in here do i care too much no i'm not really going to free up much space or do much of privacy but if you've got you know dozens of apps using space here you might want to so again these four are really more personal and up to you as to whether you want to use them or not so you decide on those if you're not sure just give me the top four right here if you're not sure and you'll be okay that way i don't have to worry about you losing your passwords etc so now the nice thing about this is there is no save there is no apply just close your browser start it back up and as you can see by copying in the same code we just used it'll bring us right back there and as you can see everything we left is on all you got to do is make your choice and close it and walk away really really easy to do and a very nice feature to the chromium based microsoft edge i dig it so there you have it protect your privacy a little bit clean up some space on your drive etc etc as always we thank you for all the new subscribes we thank you for clicking like every here and there and uh that's about it we'll see you next time thank you